Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I just wanted to have a quick look today at uh, one of my grafted citrus that failed and try and explain to people who are interested why, um, why the graft on any grafted citrus is the weak spot that causes tends to cause the problems when there are root issues and the grafted section always fails first. Um, this was uh, a small kumquat that I, I've had for a year or two and it died, um, it apparently died early in spring. In fact, it, it didn't do very, it wasn't doing well in the house. It had its fruits on it and then once they dropped off, the plant started dying back and I just decided to leave it outside in the garden back in about <coughs> February with no real expectation of any of the plants surviving. To be honest, the whole stem, the whole top of the plant, which you can see has been cut off here, died back completely to there. And then the whole of the stem appeared to be completely dead as well. So uh, basically I left it outside until I suppose about May or June. Uh, and then I decided to put it into the summer house where it's warmer and give it a good watering just on the off chance that the plant might come back from the grafted area. Now, <clears throat> I, I actually thought that it had died completely and then suddenly it started having these green buds appear on it. Now, you can see the shoots at the bottom and you can see these shoots here. None of these are the kumquats. If you look closely, and I hope you're able to see on camera, here, this is the cleft graft where the kumquat was was grafted into the rootstock. Now from the leaves I'm going to guess that the rootstock's a bit of orange. It's not, it's certainly not a trifoliate because uh, you would see the trifoliate leaves so it's either going to be on a, a regular seedling citrus or possibly on um, as I said it might be a bit of orange because I think they're normally considered to be hardier than the standard citrus as rootstocks. But the interesting thing is, when the plant has died back and got under stress because of the root problems, the first section that fails is always the grafted section. Now, the reason for this is, when you graft a plant, um, you're never gonna get the, uh, never going to get the 100% efficiency of fluid transfers up through the grafted section because when you graft this in here you're never going to get all of the all of the tubes that uh, essentially xylem, xylem and phloem tubes if I remember rightly that carry the sugars and the liquids and the water up into the plant you're never going to get them limed up properly and you get all this scar tissue around here which swells out um, and, and that's never running at more than about, probably about a 60% efficiency compared to undamaged branches in a regular plant. <clears throat> and the proof of the pudding is, I thought that this shoot appeared first and I thought the whole root stock had died, but gradually you can see as the plant, as the roots have recovered, the moisture has traveled up the root stock and it's now sent out shoots. Obviously you can see these shoots low down here, but even here it's got shoots right on the edge of the grafting zone. Uh, there's, you won't be able to see it probably, but there's a little green bud there. And I think on the other side, if I remember rightly, I don't know if I'll be able to see it, there's a little green bud here, which you probably won't be able to see on camera. Now this is the V of the graft, so right up, to the edge of the actual graft, grafted edge of the rootstock, um, the plant is regenerating and showing green growth. But the actual rootstock, uh, sorry, the actual grafted section itself is absolutely, totally stone dead. So this this plant has managed to regenerate, but not not past the point of the graft because the grafted area has actually died because of poor transfer transfer of fluids while the roots were in a problem. It probably, when the roots rotted, it probably couldn't take moisture up enough to keep the cells alive in the grafted area. So when, when my, and when I do have grafted 
the citrus fail and it's nearly always the grafted sections that fail quite often the rootstock will grow back um, and the only advantage of that is it may be that one day and I haven't done any citrus grafting yet obviously if I can keep this rootstock alive and get these stems nice and strong I might be able to graft back onto these some other citrus variety so if I've got something I particularly would like to propagate such as finger limes or um, or oranges or lemons or whichever I might better graft back on this I'm glad I've saved the rootstock but I just thought it'd be worth showing that quite often it's the graft that fails when the roots have got issues because it's a much much weaker part of the plant and even as trees get older and older and older the grafted section will always be the weakest part of the plant in regards to uh, fluid transfers so there's always a danger if you have a serious problem with the plant the the uh, the grafted top will die and you'll be you'll end up with just a root stock but um i just thought it might be interesting to show that because this kumquat root stock uh, i say kumquat it's not a kumquat at all this kumquat plant that died has got a root stock that's come back to life and i'll carry on growing that on and maybe one day i'll better do a video involving grafting we'll uh, we'll see how that goes Anyway, thanks for watching that video. It's my short talk about short video talk about understanding why it's the grafted section that fails first when you have a citrus that's dying back, and why you can sometimes save the rootstock and perhaps do something with it in the future. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Remember to uh, share the video if you think anybody might find it useful. Please subscribe to my channel. And remember to click on the bell if you like updates on new videos as they come out. I'll see you in the next video. Brett out for now.